Experienced. Tradition. Commitment. Competitor. Amazing. Motivator. Determined. Manager. Great. Wise. I've watched him impact the outcome of more games with his coaching than most that I've seen. But that word can easily be replaced by the word leader. He's a leader of not only young men, a program, a team, but most importantly, his family. He's committed not only to his players, to the university, um, and as a family man, I see that he's committed to his family. I would say, you know, seeing how he is and seeing how he deals with not only his players, but his coaches, um, one word that comes to mind is, is his commitment to everybody that he interacts with. Coach Blankmeyer is very to the point. Um, when he wants something done, he usually gets it done. I think that he's a competitive guy, also understands his players and has a good feel for them when, when they need some rest, when they need a little kick in the butt. Uh, but determined in the fact that you know the guy has always won and you know when when he sets his mind to something he gets it done oh he's hard-nosed um, you know he expects you to work hard he I mean he gives everything he's got so he expects you to give everything you've got and, um, you work hard you know you play hard that's that's the St. John's way and since the day I came in as a freshman that's what uh, you know, he preached and that's what all the older guys preach because that's just been the St. John's play. Everything he does, he expects greatness out of you. So you know, whether he's there or not, he expects you to, you know, work, your work ethic to be the best that it can be, not to take any days off and just to perfect your craft the best that you can. I think one of the big things is that he taught me is to, to be a straight shooter. You know, it's better to tell people exactly how it is. And maybe that's the New Yorker in him, but people really enjoy that aspect about it him as a person, and I've, I've taken that on myself. But the, uh, we used to have this saying around the office and kind of affects the decisions you make day in and day out is, whatever you do during that day, just be sure that you can put your head down on the pillow at night and rest easy. You know, me individually as a walk-on, I had to go prove myself. And uh, my first year, coach said, hey, you know, you gotta change your arm slot if you're gonna make this team. And uh, it was something that you know I had to do, and he was you know cut and dry with me about it. It wasn't something where you know he didn't sugarcoat anything. He treated everybody extremely professionally. Uh, he expected production out of us, and, and he made sure we knew that we had to give it. The fact that he was so vested in each one of us to succeed individually shows what kind of determination he had as a coach. Because a lot of times, 17, 18 year olds were not there yet, but he made sure we stuck the course and, and got better each and every day. We would go on streaks of winning and losing, and when we came into those losing streaks, as a lot of players would tell you, the only thing that Coach Blankmeyer ever spoke about was how upset the alumni were with us. When we were messing up on and off the field, you know, he made sure that we knew. He gave us every platform that we needed, the options that we needed to succeed. It was up to us to either succeed or not. And if we didn't, he let us know. And you know, that's something that carries into my life now. Um, you can see that he did a great job. Listen, he has a great family, you know, he has great kids, great wife, you know, and all these things, you know, he pushed onto us as people. You know, and it developed us as men, and hopefully a lot of the alumni, you know, take that and use that in their lives now. First of all, he's a professional coach, and he does a marvelous job teaching the game, keeping young men and young boys interested in baseball, which is a game I love, so that I, I'm on his side on that one. Uh, the second thing is, he's a great person. He... Uh, conducts his entire program in a very fine manner. Uh, they have a reputation, his team, of being very good, not only on the field, but in the classroom, and in the way they conduct themselves. Coming out of high school, I was um, just you know, a ball player. You know, I, had some, I was kind of skilled, but when I came here, I really learned the game. You know, there's baseball, you're always learning the game, and you have to really take your game to the next level, especially in college, people are, um, you know, more advanced than you as a freshman, so you have to really learn the game quick, and he teaches that game, he teaches the game to you. He teaches you how to, you know, just play the game right, play the game hard, and all the ins and outs, and stuff that, I, a lot of stuff I didn't know in high school, I learned here. After I got drafted, I decided to come back because everything he's done for me and my family, and, you know, getting me in here, and to give him his first losing season, it just wasn't how I wanted to go out, you know, for all he's done for me, so I decided to come back. I knew what we had and I knew the, the kind of coaches that we had and 
what, what Coach Blankmar could do. So I, I figured that I'd come back and try and get us back to a regional. He gave us uh, routines so that we, we knew exactly when practice was. Uh, every day would be posted up on the board. I'm sure multiple guys will say this. Um, we knew exactly where and when we needed to be there. Um, what was going to be you know, taken care of that day at practice. And to this day, he still does the same thing. But he prepares us in order to go to battle. And obviously, our goal is to win 40 games every year. So the way he does that is, is phenomenal. I always liked seeing Coach get fired up. Um, you always felt like, as a player, as a team, that he had your back. Um, whether it was you know, with another team or with umpires. Just his knowledge of the game is tremendous. And when I started coaching, I used a lot of what Coach taught us. Um, so I remember his preparation. He taught us to prepare, his coaches to prepare, and um, again, I just felt like he always had his team's back. Working for him as a coach, he gives you the ability to take something on as your own. He gives you a lot of responsibility, and he lets you grow. He does the same thing with players. Um, I've never coached for a guy or played for a guy that's better communicator with his players. He's constantly having individual meetings. He's very honest, he's very direct. He's constantly letting people know where they stand. And he does the same thing with us as a coaching staff. He's always letting you know where you stand, what you need to do to get better. And he always gives you the opportunity to do it on your own and make it yours. The determination he showed, uh, not just as an individual, but what he expected from all of us, was just uh, something that, that we all took with us for the rest of our lives and continue to, to live with each day. It was so much more than just being good on the field. It was creating young men that, that would turn into to men pretty soon, and uh, it was in each and every aspect of our lives. He's the all-time winning as coach here at St. John's. It's crazy. So he's a winner. That's why you want to be a part of what he wants to uh, do with St. John's baseball. He coached a long time at Seton Hall before he came to St. John's. Seton Hall is also a very, very fine uh, program where he played and then was assistant and associate coach there. And now he's in his 20th year here at St. John's. Boy, that went by fast. You know, he really gets the most out of you, and I can't thank him enough for you know, bringing that out of me, because you know, in high school, um, you know, I was a ball player, but then once I got here, I learned how to win. Just talking about a guy like Joe Panic, who has reached the pinnacle and won the World Series, he deserved everything like that, just the same as what, when you get any awards given, I think it's well-deserved. So congratulations. Coach Blankmeyer, congratulations. Um, All-time winning as coach. I want to thank you from uh, not just myself, but a lot of the alumni um, that can't make it tonight. But I really, really appreciate it. And we really appreciate everything that you've done for us. And, and thank you very much. And, and congratulations on uh, 20 great years. And uh, hope that uh, everything works out for us this year. And, and thank you again for this opportunity. Thanks, Coach, for everything. Um, I know we've been through a lot. We've had our ups and downs, you know, from a Super Regional to your first ever losing season. Um, I couldn't thank you enough for everything you've done for me and my family. And uh, you made me feel like family here, and I couldn't thank you enough. Coach Blankmeyer, I want to let you know, you know, thank you very much for all you've done for me uh, as a person, as a player, you know, as a student athlete, and I wish you the best of luck. Coach, there's a lot of alumni that came through your program that are out there doing some great things right now, and I want you to know that that's a, a direct attribute to the way you treated us for the four or five years we played under you. I just want to say congratulations on all your successes that you've had so far, and best of luck this season and in the future. Coach, you're the best. One of a kind. Um, I love being a player for you, love working with you, and uh, as we've gotten to be friends, um, that's one of the most important things. Thank you for everything. Coach Blankmeyer. Thank you for making me a better person and a better coach. I love working with you. Coach, I just want to thank you for you know, an awesome three years that you know, I spent here. You, you, know, you turned me into you know, who I am as a player and as a person. And I can't thank you enough for all the time and hard work uh, that you put in with us. Thank you. Blanky, you're a tremendous mentor for me. But even more important, you're a great friend. And for that, I thank you. Thank you for all you've done for St. John's Baseball and for the young men who played for you. God bless you.